So yes. just like with white tigers, it is a uh, recessive, which means that it has to be carried by both of your parents. If Michael here ever does reproduce, no. uh, we wouldn't expect to see that white tiger, white lion gene pop up again for at least another couple of generations. Michael here is a big softy. He is five years old, um, and he loves his girlfriend star. So as I was saying before, we do separate most of our cats. Uh, Sometimes to prevent aggression, sometimes because they get specific dietary needs. But in this case, we separate them because Michael loves Star so much that he will present her with his chickens. Which is very, very sweet, but she was getting a little bit pudgy. <laughs> so in the wild, um, lions are the only truly social big cat. They live in large family groups called tribes, which typically consists of a dominant male, multiple females, and their offspring. And in a lion tribe, the females are actually the ones doing all the hunting, while the males stay back and they protect the tribe. Like yeah. so if, if you guys all have hook caps, you know how mm -hmm. sandpapery that tongue can be? Mm -hmm. Lions and tigers have that same sandpapery tongue, but the barks are much bigger. And the purpose of that is actually to remove feathers and hair and stuff like that from their prey. So you can actually see where your cat sandpaper tongue came from. <laughs> and then next door we have Queen, Tiara, and Calvin. So these are our three amigos. They are also Siberian tigers. So earlier you've seen some Bengal tigers, and you can see these guys are a bit different. They're a little bit taller. Siberian tigers are actually the largest of the tiger subspecies. So they're taller. Their striping pattern is a bit different. Oh, and this is Boo. So Boo's going to get his supper. And if you watch, Boo's really good at catching his chickens. Except that I'm really bad at throwing Valiant effort, Boo. <laughs> you have a question? Yes, go ahead. Um, where are the boxes? That's such a good question. So, do you guys have cats at home? You know cats love boxes, right? So do big cats. So these guys, even though they live in captivity, um, we do have to give them toys, structures, uh, boxes, barrels, balls, stuff like that, uh, to enrich their lives, just to keep them physically active, mentally active, exploring their habitats and using those natural behaviors. We also spray perfumes, old scents, uh, spices, Italian seasoning, stuff like that, um, just to use all of the senses and stimulate all of their senses and their natural behaviors. Uh, big cats actually have an organ in the roof of their mouth, it's called a Jacobson organ. Um, and they use it to send pheromones and different smells in their natural habitat to find, for example, females that may or may not be in heat, um, different prey, that sort of thing. So That's our cats nice. will make what we call a stinky face, and it's when they pull up their mouth and they go like this. Um, but it, what it actually is, is a lemon response. They're actually skipping ahead a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm really worried to hear Thank <laughs> you. 